We are still on track to move into the cottage on December 1st. This week we're making progress on the roof, designing our living room, and making sure that the beautiful piece of granite we found last week is still the perfect one for our home. So this should be a very exciting week at the cottage because with the bad weather last week, which put the framers behind coming back out to fix some of the roofing things, finish the framing, all of their work. We should see some very exciting things happen this week. So the framers are gonna be back out here on Wednesday, which is in two days, well, a day and a half or so, to finish everything. And then told my contractor, I'm like, if they're gonna be here on Wednesday and everything's gonna be finished, let's have everyone else come Thursday and Friday. So I want the roofer and the electrical for sure to start coming out. The siding, I got the siding on order, which is a special order that matches the rest of the house. That's coming. Our porch posts, turned wood posts that I ordered online should be here tomorrow. So while they're doing that, we're gonna see them do all of the framing work this week. So you guys will see that throughout this video, but I always like to have a major project that I'm working on. For today and tomorrow, I really wanna work on this back fireplace wall. They're gonna be finishing the framing of the fireplace, so they're actually gonna blow that center out because their fireplace is gonna be a foot outside of the house as well, going all the way up and all in stone, and limestone veneers. I really, I'm really excited about that. But on each side, for a design element, I really wanted to carry, and I'll show you guys some inspiration pictures of what I wanna do with this wall in a little bit. I wanna carry the beadboard from the ceiling in the kitchen, dining room, pantry, back door area into this space somehow. Now, we aren't going to be putting beadboard on the ceiling in this space, it's actually going to be drywall. And then since we have the original wains cutting all along the lower perimeter of the room, thought it would be cool to do the beadboard as a back detail behind bookshelves and cabinetry that I wanna put on each side of the fireplace. We are learning from our previous projects and I am going to be sanding the beadboard first. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. We're back! We're working! It's Wednesday! They are doing things. They are actually working on all of the decking, the plywood that's gonna go on the roof. And so that's the first layer. So it's the studs and then the plywood and then the underlayment for the metal roof and then the metal roof. All of that stuff. And I wanna thank you guys so much for commenting about the slope on where the roof meets and stuff. We were able to look at it. It did have a slope already. They're giving me a bigger one. So we're all, so we don't have any problems. So thank you guys. Um, I did see that once we did the drone shots, I could see up there better. So I had sent pictures of it to my contractor. So they are working. They're gonna be doing that all day, finishing up all of the framing work. And I do have a, a helper. <laughs> I told him, I was like, we're moving in December 1st. I need you. <laughs> I'm here. So we are gonna be working on this beadboard project for each side of the fireplace. I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did like nine. I sanded nine of them. He's gonna work on the sanding of those. And we're gonna do that for a little bit, taking out the nails. And then I'm gonna show you guys kind of like my vision for that wall.
authentic building experience going on here. While Romeo finishes sanding those last uh, about 20 boards or so, I got all the nails out. We're still working on all the decking outside. I wanted to show you guys my plans for this wall and the fireplace and my vision for this and how I want it to tie in to the rest of the house and stuff like that. So I've been compiling all of my inspiration and ideas onto a board on Milanote and a big thank you to Milanote for sponsoring another video. I have been using Milanote so much for all the different rooms in the house. So the last time I showed you guys one of these boards, I was designing our kitchen and I put everything in here from inspiration to sketches to all of the appliances that we were thinking about and then buying hood inspiration and so i've actually i'll show you this too i've actually been working a lot on our kitchen cabinetry design like the layout wise it's so far it looks like this so this is the back kitchen wall with the hood and the two windows and where our refrigerator and oven are going to go so i've been working a lot on this whole um, design and how I want the cabinetry to look because that has to happen really soon now that we picked our slabs What I really like about Milanote is it not only keeps everything in one place It keeps it really organized so you can have boards within boards I have a fireplace board that I've created and this is actually something I saved as a PDF and gave to my contractor. So for this particular wall, I really love this inspiration picture. And this is kind of the direction that I'm going with the stone mixed with a side bookshelf and cabinetry along the bottom. But I want that wood detail and that beadboard detail behind the bookshelves because I think it would really add a nice kind of visual texture and tie into the kitchen ceiling as well to bring that into this area. One of my favorite features of Milanote is the ease of adding inspiration pictures or pictures or products that I find on online at various places. You can download the Milanote Chrome extension and it puts basically a little button over all the pictures across the internet and you can select whatever board you want it to be added to. So when you go back to Milanote, it'll actually throw it into an unsorted column over on the right hand side. So then you can add it in wherever you like. Milanote also just came out with some new features. One of them is sketch. So I wanna sketch out what we're actually gonna be doing Doing to this wall. I like it because it just allows me to get my ideas on paper in a very rough form. Did I mention, I mentioned this was rough, right? <laughs> I'm drawing with my trackpad here. And then all of the beadboard will be behind that and then we'll come back with some floating shelves. Something like that. Also very cool. I'm gonna go back to this other board and show you. Find an inspiration picture that I love the colors in the room. And their new feature is that they can actually pull colors and give you color swatches from an inspiration picture. The more times I do it, the more colors they're gonna pull from that one inspiration picture. Start to give you a color palette for the room. So it's a really great jumping off point. That's a, that's a really pretty color palette. I also have the Milanote app on my phone so I can access all of these boards, whether I'm on the go at a slab yard trying to find you know, that type of stuff or I'm looking for tile. It's an amazing program. So if you haven't downloaded already, do it it's absolutely free it has been such an amazing tool to keep this house kind of like my brain onto something that I can show people it's been so cool I got everything from MG so it's all here on the on the porch okay so that was my contractor <laughs> they are working on this decking and then I just went and picked up whatever the heck this stuff is I've got underlayment for the roof three rolls of that also rain and ice protection for the eaves, plastic cap nails, all for the roof. All of that is ready to go for the roofer to come out tomorrow, put the underlayment, which is the black stuff, and that rain and ice, so to put all of that stuff down, and he can measure for the metal. Then when that he gets all of that material, he'll come back out to lay all of that, and then the AC should be installed next Thursday. Things are happening, so let's get back to my project. Romeo's got at least half the board sanded already, so I'm gonna start putting them up, I guess. You guys do realize that all of this is new to me. I'm trying most of this stuff with this house for the very first time. Now granted, the speed board, putting it up, it's a fairly simple process. 
And we did it on the ceiling. So doing it over our heads has to be harder than doing it on the wall. What we did on the ceiling is we put liquid nails on the back of the board. So when we put them up, it was extra supportive, obviously, because gravity. This, I don't think that it's necessary all that much, but we could have, have liquid nails. Board isn't hard. I think the only challenging part is because this speedboard salvaged, and because it's salvaged, it's old, and it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't go next to each other like it all should. I just need a little sliver there, and then halfway through, I realized we've traded a cotton candy ceiling for a cotton candy wall. This is great for me. <laughs> This can't be painted until we get the sheetrock in here. We will enjoy this cotton candy look again. Okay, one more side to go in three, two, one. Look, it looks so good. Okay, so my dad is gonna cut some pieces on his table saw to go right there and then it's done. So there were some pieces that were shorter, but we're gonna have cabinetry here, the built-ins, and then up there we'll have crown molding. So that's all gonna be hidden. So now I have to caulk and fill the holes but it's all sanded so this should go a lot faster this time but we'll obviously wait until all the drywall is here and then they blow out the fireplace on monday i'm very excited so you guys will see that in the next video framers just left for the day it's like 5 30 and now that we have decking on the roof there have been some things a few things that i have been dreaming about doing and one of them is this you come through this way to the hallway to the bedrooms and the bathrooms and all of that type of stuff. I'm so excited. Wow. Also, don't know how long I've waited <laughs> to take those plywoods off. The plastic, the plywoods, trying to keep this house dried in and just getting to a point where it's starting to be covered and we're starting to close it in and now it should happen pretty fast. Now that the siding is coming in, I can put in the rest of the windows. So today the framers focused on decking this roof. They finished all of that, so all of the roof is done. They have started working on the fascia and the soffits, which are the pieces of wood right below the roof line, the edge. Since we can move forward with other subcontractors, the roofer will be here in the morning and keep going and then the AC guy will come out with the units, run all the ducking next week. So next Thursday, he's scheduled to come out. Starting to look like a real house in here. And another exciting thing that came in. So we got a shipment to the front yard again, <laughs> um, like the wood does. Um, but this is actually our turned wood posts and the spindles for our porch. We are rebuilding the porch 
pretty identical to what was original to the house, which was important to me. There's only really one change and we didn't have a wood post in the center between the three new windows that we put on the front of the house, just so that that view wasn't obstructed. Everything else is gonna be the same, but updated. Um, so we unfortunately had to take the porch down because it was rotten and it was built with two by fours and there was just, the roof was bad, it was all just problematic so it would made more sense for us to tear it off and rebuild it yeah, so i ordered the turned wood post and the spindles online and i had to special order them because they were you know traditional wood posts and not like you can just get from the hardware store these are going to be our new spindles <laughs> i love them wasn't very much more to get them primed already and then we just make sure that they're like really sealed nice yeah uh, yeah it is a hazy morning at the cottage they are here early and they've got the material up there it's kind of hard to see obviously because they're up there on the roof they are putting all of the underlayment down they're also going to be putting this rain and ice protection in the in the valleys, you know, where the roof meets each other. And then they're going to measure for how much metal I need to order and get here. And he said he can come back as soon as possible. Okay, so while they do all of the underlayment and stuff for the roof, I want to drive back into San Antonio because we got the quotes for the slabs. So if you guys saw last video, we found the most beautiful granite for the island and the vanities and then the soapstone for the perimeter of the kitchen you know i didn't know how expensive the granite was going to be because it was a level seven but it is still in budget because we've saved so much by all the salvaging and stuff that we've been doing so i'm ready to write the deposit check but before i do that i want to go back to the slab yard take a look at the slab again in the sunlight with the color of the sinks the white color and also the paint swatches that I have kind of thinking about for the cabinetry. Now paint can be changed, obviously, um, but this I kind of already have and the other sinks I kind of already bought. So I'm gonna bring the whole sink. We're just gonna bring it in the slab yard and have them move it to the sunlight and really make sure that we're still in love with that granite and then we'll put the deposit down. Okay, we made it. Look, I got all my samples. They're gonna be like this girl. Look, he's got the sink. It's a big decision, it's the island. So this isn't our specific slab because we found one that didn't have this yellow in it, but they moved it to the sole section already. But we can see what all of this looks like in play. <laughs> They're so nice here. This slab in particular is for our island and then also the two vanities. So the primary vanity, the primary bathroom with two sinks and then also the guest bathroom sink the smaller one it all has sinks in it so i was really curious to see if our white sinks are going to look good with this so this is one of them that we found at the at canton at the flea market so i knew that this had white in it for sure um so you can tell that it's like really complimenting there's not going to be any clash with our white which is really good Look how beautiful this guy is, you guys. You love it? I love all this green. This is like a chalky, ashy green color. This is actually a sample of the penny tile that I found at Floor and Decor. And it was like a mix. Some of it is shiny and some is matte, which I thought it was pretty. And it's in stock, so it's gonna be like super easy. So I was thinking of this for the guest bathroom underneath the vintage cloth foot tub and then up onto the walls because um, I wanted like a really statement like this inspiration picture and then to do a grout that is more creamy like pull out some of the some color that's in here I don't know how you get more perfect than this right isn't that good we're just in here like <laughs> building house I've loved this particular tile for a while for the guest bathroom behind the vanity. So this has a little more purple in it to me. This could be a maybe for sure. 
So this was one that we found at Floor and Decor too, but I just kind of, I never like patterns and I liked this pattern, so I picked it up. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's a go. I don't think that that looks like kind of the look I want to go with in that bathroom. And this is very blue. These are something I was thinking of for the primary bathroom behind the tub. And they're like pretty, like a chalky white, which would be really pretty. I mean, it would be light and airy. These are like, this is like the same color family as this. So going back to the kitchen. So our kitchen sink is a farmhouse sink. So it's 36 inches. And I was playing around with some colors. Kind of got dirty at the house. But this was kind of the color palette that I was thinking of for the cabinetry. And I was leaning towards the darker one, which is this color for cabinets is our wood color and then this is our ceiling this is exterior <laughs> so we got all of our samples let's step back and look they closed off the windows and the doors in here so it's not natural light in here anymore but i think it's it's perfect in person it's beautiful with all of these samples except for that one that looks a little lavender and the tile the, the pattern i don't think that that's it but i'm very excited happy happy happy, happy. okay we paid the people the deposit and let them know where each of the slabs were because there are two different stone yards and so how it works they're gonna pick them up and come here bring them here yard here and store them here um, until we're ready for them to come out to measure the cabinetry so they'll they'll measure all of the kitchen and the um, vanities and the bathrooms and stuff and then they'll measure specifically they do he's done a really good job he's done all of my parents work on different jobs that they've done he's done friends of family they're like amazing um, they're timeless visions in San Antonio if you want to work with them so they'll come out they'll cut all the sinks they'll the price was for them to be installed fabricated and installed <sighs> very happy we also have to pick the edge so they had a few of the most popular either bevel or flat polish or pencil I'm thinking I'm leaning towards bevel because I think it looks the most expensive, but also I don't know if it's gonna look good on the vanity that I picked. So comment down below which of these three you like the best, and maybe there's even more options that I can look at online and see which ones I like better. Or maybe we'll do different in different rooms. I don't know, comment what you would do in this style house, what finish and edge you would have on the countertops. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's all for this week before you guys are gonna see this video. We made a lot of progress on the roof and so we should have the material and everything for them to start early next week on the roof and then the electrician's coming this weekend and the AC will be here next week. I think things are finally starting to move really fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am about like just all of the progress in general. So subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell notification. And if you've missed any of the renovation videos, I have a whole playlist that you can binge watch and catch up on all of them. And I still can't wait to get um, to decorating because that's gonna be really fun. So fingers crossed, we are moving in December 1st still. We seem to be on track. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. I'm glad I got the stone I wanted. I'm glad I got the stone we wanted. <laughs> We wanted them, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Like people ask me all the time, do you just let me do whatever I want? Yeah. Okay, well first of all, you don't let me do anything. <laughs> you just have better taste than me. No, actually, he has great taste.